so i'm going to break the reality to you guys um pr is easy in uh, saskatchewan because of the sinp process which is saskatchewan immigration nominee program but it is not fast <laughs> Mars logs. Uh I just got back from office and I thought I will just speak to you about some things regarding Saskatchewan and also you know a few other questions that people have been asking me in Instagram and YouTube. So those who have been followed me on Instagram please go to go to Instagram and follow Mars logs. Um I do put up uh, interesting content not much about uh, immigration and all but basically about what happens in Canada what all uh, you can explore in Canada those kind of things. Uh but it's always good to uh, follow me on Instagram because you can all always chat with me and uh, find out details about uh, your doubts or you know any clarifications that you have i'm more than happy to help you out there uh, so i've been getting some questions about people coming to saskatchewan and also who are uh, all uh, these people who are uh, shifting from other provinces to saskatchewan uh, so um, one of the main question uh, that i get is you know i'm coming to saskatchewan mainly because uh, the pr is popular there or the pnp process is popular there and uh, uh, in my, one of my previous video also i was telling you that a lot of people from other provinces also coming to saskatchewan because of this reason um so uh, i want to tell you the reality uh, like you know uh, many people say that you know uh, they have been in ontario or they have been in bc or they have been in calgary or any other province and then you know um they come here thinking that you know they will get the pr fast or you know they are uh, at least the pre and p process is faster here and things like that and there not much of uh, what do you say uh, criteria or uh, any kind of uh, Uh, eligibility uh, blocks that will come in most of them qualify for sinp so i'm going to break the reality to you guys um pr is easy in uh, saskatchewan because of the sinp process which is saskatchewan immigration nominee program but it is not fast okay so all those people who are thinking who, who uh, you know you can just get to saskatchewan and your pr will come in 6 months you are absolutely wrong okay because sinp is a process which takes a lot of time so i am talking about uh, experiences that i've heard from people or uh, you know what i've been seeing in my office or you know other places uh there are various reasons but uh, like you know there's been frauds happening there's been a lot of uh, issues with you know uh, processing the application because of uh, the kind of you know investigations they have been doing on companies or you know employers and those kind of things so delays have been happening on that end i'm keeping all that aside okay i'm not talking about any um you know uh Mm, temporary kind of hindrances that might come your way i'm talking about the normal processing of sinp okay so for all those people who think they can come here get a sinp job which itself is difficult and then you know get an employer to provide you an sinp as soon as possible and then you get your approval letter and everything soon you are wrong so i'll give you a small idea about um one one or two scenarios so that you get an idea about what is the timeline so for those people who are studying in saskatchewan okay i'll tell you about them so you have a one or two year course imagine it's a one year course i'll take my example you are here for a one year course you do the one year course so you cannot actually apply for an sinp job at that time because obviously it has to be a full time job but you can always get into a part time job where you know they might promise you that you know when you join full time we can provide you a sinp if those jobs are available okay well and good but if at all you're a student who are doing who who was doing a one year course and you come and join here you are at the end of your course okay so what happens here is uh, suppose you are in a september intake and you finish by april okay uh i would suggest you start giving uh, interviews or looking for an employer maybe by about february or march so that you know you have like two months before your course completion um because that's the ideal time to look out for an sinp employer and uh you know you're also at the fag end of your course so that you know you can also tell your employer that you know i will finish my course in like uh, one one month or one and a half months and i can join you so the employer will also be interested in hiring you <coughs> so i've heard a lot of people come and ask me you know uh, 
sorry i had to break the video in between i have got this new uh, issue about uh, dry cough like in the sense maybe it's a climate change and when i talk a little bit uh, my throat becomes very dry and choky and then you know i start coughing so i have to take breaks in between uh yeah so what i was telling you is uh, so the employer will also be interested in hiring you in case you are about to finish your course right so don't think that you know you can start looking for an assignp employer as soon as you come here because that's not possible they would also want you to be part of the organization and you know uh, continue full time they're not going to like give you a part time job then uh, you might you can just come and you know join them and all you want that doesn't happen so uh yeah so you start looking for a job uh, at at maybe february or march in case you are a september intake person and then uh, um you also have an additional month so legally in canada after your course okay that is if you finish your course by april end till the time you get your physical copy of course completion certificate you are not uh, allowed to work legally okay so um you have to take a break from your part time job also yeah it is it is a hit for all of us because obviously we are depending on that money but then you are not legally supposed to work okay so i uh, i mean when you calculate the whole thing you get february march april and almost till the end of may is when your convocation happens your course completion certificate comes comes in and those kind of things right so you have time till may to actually find an employer okay so that time is there then you get an employer so i've explained in several of my other video, videos also an employer is not going to give you a job offer letter or a jal as you call it as soon a uh, job approval letter okay so as soon as you join the company because obviously they also want to know how good you are they can't just randomly give a job approval letter to anybody what is a job approval letter so basically for students who are studying here or you know people who are looking for an assignp job after you join a company your employer has to actually provide you a job approval letter which is approved by saskatchewan uh, 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 government okay basically sinp uh, so they have to give you that letter so the main uh, process is that to get that particular letter so that you can keep that with your uh, file and submit it to uh, saskatchewan government for your pnp approval or sinp approval so there are several streams that you can apply there is student stream which applies to all of us because we've studied in saskatchewan there is international skill worker stream occupation and demand stream these are mainly for people who are in india or who have who has just come here and house looking for a job now uh, but there are several streams and there's agricultural stream business stream so that all doesn't apply to us or i'm not going to talk about it because i don't know much information about it i am mainly talking about the student stream of a people who are coming from other provinces uh like you know so to just to get that letter um once an employer applies it's minimum of maybe like uh 20 weeks or something in case there is no name on the letter so there are two types with name and without name and if it's with name it's a little shorter but still it is a long time so after you join the employer needs at least 3 to 4 months of your pay stub and then they apply for the um, sinp job approval letter and then it takes around 20 weeks or you know 25 20 weeks is the um, so called in the in the uh, what do you say uh, website but that doesn't always work right so it takes more than that so you know the amount of time it took just to get the job approval letter so after getting the job approval letter you need to uh, you know put that with your sinp file and apply for sinp approval okay so uh, that comes in very quickly so as soon as you put your sinp um, uh, uh, details on your sinp portal uh, that comes in very quickly i have heard people get it in 3 4 days or maybe one week or two weeks not more than that and after you get that you have to use that approval and put it in a federal file okay federal is nothing but your uh, ircc uh, portal you have to put it there um, it's i think it's called as federal skilled workers uh, stream or something of that sort even i am not clear see even i am in the process so i am updating you as and when i get to know about things mm, so you have to put it in the federal file and that takes a minimum of 20 months that is almost a year so for all those people who are thinking you know come to saskatchewan like how they say habibi come to dubai it's no <laughs> you can come to saskatchewan but don't expect your pr to come in 6 months because 6 months is just the start of the process and it's going to take a very long time to get it we are all waiting for it there are a lot of my batchmates who are still waiting for the approval letter even i am waiting for the approval letter so it's not that you know you join a company and you immediately get things i mean get things rolling 
so um i just wanted to tell you guys the reality because don't come with the impression that as soon as you finish your course or as soon as you come into saskatchewan you are going to get your um job approval letter or your sinp or your pr or whatever it is don't come with that assumption that is not the reality this is the reality this is how much time it will take so even though the saskatchewan government has a very good scheme okay sinp is the best i feel Uh, even though they have this very attractive scheme due to which so many people are coming in it is not a fast or quick solution to your pr journey it is a very slow and very time consuming very draining in the sense you have to give them so many documents and those kind of things i've seen some of my friends you know spend like days you know just compiling documents so that's the amount of work that goes into um, you know creating an snp file obviously you can hire an agent please hire reliable agents uh, once you come here it's a, it's much more easier because it's like much more structured here and you know agents are more reliable but uh, don't guys like i'm telling you it's not really worth it to get disappointed i know so many of my friends who are going back see that's also one thing right i've heard like two or three of my friends who are uh, in that phase of uh, the can- they are their canadian journey where they're thinking you know this is not the place for them they're going back some of them who came with family are going back one of my friend is also planning to go back so there are people who are even wanting to go back because it's not as per what they planned or what they thought or what they assumed okay so keep all your assumptions thoughts and all those things on one side and then you know uh, read about snp or you know ask a people about snp process or saskatchewan uh, pr process understand things set your expectations right and that's my advice to you guys without setting your expectations right please don't come here and get disappointed because it's not only saskatchewan any part of canada the journey is not easy okay whoever thinks that you know um the uh, i was reading a post on facebook today you know uh wherein they were saying uh people say uh, the lifestyle uh, or the culture is better here but it comes with cost of living obviously it's cost of living it's a struggle uh people are i mean both of them are working full time uh you know even though in india you have family support and all those things that is not here so you have to come and do your own things at home uh you know if you have kids you have to take care of them and you know the schedule is so different here so um, don't think that you're coming to canada and then you know your life is set and all and uh, i've seen a lot of people complain and crib about it i had read about all these things i am also fine with all these things okay and i am telling you only for your information i have seen some of the people come and comment on my video saying that you know oh she's saying all these things but she's you know uh, still in canada i am still in canada because i'm enjoying all these things i i came here with my dream of coming to canada it was a quick dream but a dream of coming to canada and being here and you know surviving here itself i am not intending to go back at least for now unless and until you know a major situation happens in my life where i need to go back but i was prepared for this so prepare yourself and come to canada because i don't want people to spend so much of money in doing courses or you know spending money for pr or whatever it is or given giving to agents and then coming here and deciding to go back that is very very unfortunate or very sad to hear and uh, i i feel very very sad to hear some of my uh, you know known people you know deciding to go back okay uh, so um, as as much as it is uh, it is a rosy picture for people saying that oh she is going to canada oh or i am going to canada this side is the other end okay so if you are prepared if you are willing to do all those things and wait for the process of getting pr then guys you are welcome welcome to saskatchewan welcome to canada or i'm not a brand ambassador of saskatchewan or canada but i'm telling you like if you're prepared for all that then you'll enjoy things here but if you're not you're going to get disappointed depressed and all those things even i was at one point uh, mainly not because of the canadian journey but about per- some personal things in my life but i'm i'm trying to live each day and you know surpass things as it goes so i thought i'll do the short video and tell you guys the reality of pr in canada this is the reality so all those people who who will tell you ah oh, go to saskatchewan it's a very easy journey no it might be easy but it is a time consuming and a long process that's all guys i hope you like this video if you want similar videos about the reality of canada comment below and let me know guys i've seen like 80% of the of my uh, 
of people who watch my video does has not even subscribed to my channel guys please subscribe to my channel you know it, it makes a lot of difference for me also to know that you guys are watching but i have seen an increase in people watching my video uh, especially people who are coming to saskatchewan i'm very very happy to know about that there are also you know some of my uh, subscribers who actually i whom i met and yeah that that's it guys um you can also hear their experiences um you know about how saskatchewan is and you know how things are going for them and all those kind of things you that's it guys